mean they're not real? That is very true, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yeti only look fierce. They probably don't like being so cold all the time. I shouldn't like it either. You never have to be cold, my Lara, if you don't want to be. Look! Henry, what's happened? Lady Croft, hey, 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 hey.
I've been hoping I'd get to meet you. At ease. We're just gonna talk. I'm listening. Have you found a piece of this? Is this what led you here? Where did you find that? It doesn't matter. What's important is what it does. Do you know? What I know is my business. So you don't then. And that means you don't have a piece. Amanda said you were sloppy. You should have paid more attention to Paraiso. Amanda? Amanda's dead. What the hell do you know about Paraiso? We're done talking. There is more than one. Father, you were right. What was that? Keep yourselves caffeinated, lads. We've some work ahead of us. These were still alive. Can't complain about that. All right. Who was that? You've heard of the Rutlands, right? From the States? Well, you just met the Senator's youngest son, James Rutland. Went to West Point, and that's about all he's done. Call up the footage, please. Welcome home, Lady Croft. Will your hand luggage require emptying or filling? Winston, take a look at this. It's almost identical, just configured differently. Identical to what? Something I saw a long time ago in Nepal. Miles from any pre-Incan culture. And you believe this to be a fragment of the sword? What sword? More likely another of its kind. Zip, I want you to find out what you can about this Rutland. Particularly where he is at the moment. Try Peru. We talked about Paraiso. He did imply there's information about the artifacts there. He said you've been to Paraiso. Well, what happened there? And who's Amanda? Alistair, go over these images and see what you can work out. Zip. Ring Anaya and see if she can meet me in Paraiso Saturday morning. They don't seem quite so keen on visitors these days. Well, hey, you're the one with the guns. You can't blame me for knowing how to accessorize. Any word from Anaya? She said she'd meet you at the statue in the marketplace. At least we'll have our privacy. Hello, Lara. You realize that the streets were not deserted a moment ago. And I've been trying so hard to blend in. I hope I'm the one that frightens them and not something else. There's nothing here. Just a heap of pottery shards, littered with the bodies of old friends. If I knew this was where it would lead, I would never have told you about Bolivia. Yet here you are. La Paz is not so far away. Neither is the past. Lara, go! I'll catch up! Uh. Anaya called on her cell. She's got mercenaries after her. Tell her I'm on my way. Right. a few years after all, when stacked atop thousands more. There's something I didn't tell you before. I think Amanda might not have died down there. Is that what this is about? Closure? Isn't that what it's all about? Why we dig up the past? To understand it? 
I am an engineer, Lara. I build for the future. I don't dwell in the past. You will someday. Eventually everyone does. Lara! Get down here, you slacker! Jason says we're about to break through! In a minute, Amanda! We have some structural concerns. Would you just get down here? I don't like it. Are you sure you're reading it properly? That thing is coming. You have a better idea? The door might be trapped. We're trapped! Uh, oh, God! Perfectly honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. was Amanda's. I doubt so fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. <laughs> it tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Veracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Veracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. 
She died shortly thereafter and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. Hope you found what you were looking for because I am never coming here again. I was right. This is all she left behind. She got out and didn't tell us? Why has she been hiding all these years? Maybe not hiding exactly. Just not keeping in touch with old friends. Perhaps she found or learned something down there that she wanted to keep to herself. Zip, did you speak to Takamoto? Eventually. He didn't want to see you, so I reminded him how much you hate the word no. I'm a horrible conversationalist. I trust he wants to get together on neutral ground. You'll love this. He wants to meet at Toto Nishimura's offices across the street from his penthouse. Nishimura? Takamoto doesn't know we're friends. Nope. All he knows is Nishimura's hosting a corporate party tomorrow night, and you'll meet him there. Better and better. All right then, I'm heading there straight away. I'll need to find something to wear, though. What exactly happened last time you and Takamoto got together? He was trying to pass off forged relics from the Asuka period. And conventional reason doesn't work with Yakuza. But you let him go. And now we're going to have a useful conversation. It's turned out quite nicely. Welcome, Lara. You have been enjoying my little party. Totemo tanoshinde yamas, Nishimura-san. When Takamoto arrives, however, it may cause you some inconvenience. Take care. He is a very dangerous man when his interests differ from yours. You'd be amazed how persuasive I can be, even with dangerous men. I am convinced. I am dangerous too, you remember. But please. Enjoy the party while you can, and good luck. Be brief, Miss Croft. I have many demands on my time, you understand? Of course, Takamoto-san. I am looking for a piece, a sword fragment, in the care of Waseda University, or it was until you stole it. <laughs> I am not a thief, and you would be wise to avoid such accusations. Then I suggest we skip to the negotiations. I don't have any idea what you are talking about. Of course you do. Just name a price. Miss Croft, are you deaf? 
I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. Never arrived at a party empty-handed. Takamoto has no doubt returned to his penthouse. Do not follow him, Lara. His men will be waiting. This lobby's a death trap. I know you're into those, but it's not really a winning option. If I can't go down, I'll go up. How do I get to the roof? The roof? There is an elevator. Be cautious. There is construction above. Should not have come here. This is my province, not one of your rotten little tombs. Tell me about the sword, Takamoto. What about it? What is it that fascinates you, Ms. Thrall? Let me have a look at it and I'll tell you. Your persistence will be the death of you. My men. I've simplified your payroll. And now, if you don't mind, I'll streamline your inventory. You speak of this? It is the most prized of my collection. And why is that? I am fond of recovering objects from dead Englishmen. In this case, one of your crusaders. Some have even said the warmonger was one of your King Arthur's knights. I do not know how the fool came by it. For it is clearly far older than the 11th century, when your people lived in huts of mud. And for this reason, you'd rather die than hand it over? No. For this one! Be your foolishness! Itoki, hell swallow you! This is it, alright. Yes, Alistair, I did. Ishimura's got a chopper outside waiting for you. Excellent. Tell him he's my new favorite person. No sign of Rotland so far. Have we worked out what he's doing here? If all else fails, I can get into the postcard business. Oh, now look at the little termites mucking it all up. That won't do at all. Looks like they didn't get in from this side. Any idea? We'll see. I do my best thinking plunging off cliffs. Entrances are always impractical. It's what makes them grand. 
Lara! You're a busy beaver, aren't you? Oh, look! It's Rutland! Fancy dropping down for a chat, then? Only if you can shoot this far. You know long-distance relationships inevitably come to an end. I'd wish you luck with that, but, uh, you know. This shouldn't be here. Oh. Dearest Amelia, yours always. Richard, it was mother's. Zip, can you hear me? Lara, you came for the Galali key too then. Perfect. Pretend I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, it's what puts the sword back together. It's the size of a fist. And according to Amanda's research, it's here. What do you know about Amanda? Where is she? So, your, your father did some digging here, didn't he? You know, Amanda thought maybe he found the key. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me about that sword fragment you're so fond of waving about. <laughs> well, I have been spending some time with it, and I've learned a couple of things. Let me show you. I'm really not your enemy, Rutland. These pieces weren't broken apart. They were designed to separate and reattach. The Galali key does that? Uh. I don't suppose you'd tell me where this came from. The Crusades? King Arthur? Uh. History doesn't interest me. Well then why don't you stay here and consider the future? Make sure I'm not in it, however. You won't enjoy seeing me again. Your father might not have found the Galali key. But Amanda doesn't know that. She's at your mansion right now. You better have good insurance. God, finally! I've been trying to get through for ages. What happened? This woman just saw her way through the front door. She had some sort of... I don't know what the hell it was. It's like black smoke. I'll be there straight away. No, we're fine. Look, she's going for another piece of the sword. What? Where? In Kazakhstan. I found a photo that matches the pieces you have. All right. Do an inventory and try to locate something called the Galali Key. Meanwhile, it looks as if I'm bound for colder climes. Back warm. I mean to be cold. Alistair, I'm at the base. Go ahead. I was right. It was a secret Soviet project from the 50s called Karbonek. The laboratory was studying an ancient sword fragment, but some mysterious disaster brought the KGB down, and they erased it all from history. Almost. There seems to be trouble below. You got there right on time. Oh, a little late. Those are Rotman's men attacking the Kazakhs. Or Amanda's. Most likely she's the one behind this. The lab is somehow connected to that military base, but we don't know how. If you can find the command center, we might get a better idea. Now, after the firefight dies down, you should try to... Oh, come now, Zip. Waiting is for the patient. Laura! You are American? British. And it looks like we share an enemy. Where's your command center? Не отвечай ей! Что здесь нужно? Погоди! Если она использует компас ключа, то сработает тревога, и центр сжет под подмогу! Да ты шо? Мы здесь охраняем только снег и звериную мочу, или ты хочешь сам идти? Through the gate! The code is K1879. Спасибо. As you like him in your dachi. Satellite photos. We got our own. There's nothing there. The lab wouldn't be visible from above. We need maps. There it is. Ooh, that's a hike. 
I'm not walking. There's a military transport train that runs past the lab. It looks like Amanda's boys are ahead of me. I'd better run. They're first. Amanda? Oh, damn it, Laura, I'm busy. I see you've changed your look. That was you in Bolivia then, with Rotten. I've been all over, and I'm going to places you can't conceive of. You're the one being left behind this time. Sorry. I'm sorry, Amanda. If I'd known that you were alive, I swear I would have done everything I could to save you. Please. I got over that a long time ago. You know what really used to bug me, though? When I got out, and saw that you left without even trying to... What is it archaeologists do? Oh, right. Dig. We thought of it as a memorial. Whatever. Don't let her follow me. Amanda, I'm sorry for what happened, but we can still work together. There is no we, Lara. There never was. It was just me down there. Me and this. Do you remember it? I touched it, and it touched me back. I don't think that was a good thing. I tamed it then, and made it my own. A little friendlier than it was in Paraiso, isn't it? I taught him how to fetch. You're mad! It killed our friends, Amanda, and it almost killed us! And it saved my life once I mastered it. It's all about a broader perception. I'd stay away from it if I were you, though. I need to still be able to touch you. Coincidence and irony. You sure about that map? Unfortunately, there was some nonsense about the discovery of the real King Arthur's tomb here years ago. Soon discredited. And yet another roadside attraction was born. Well, let's see what we can see, shall we? At least it should be educational.
real. They're all here. The court of Camelot. You're sure about this? King Arthur, who was verily of ye loins of Uther Pendragon? Hmm? I've no doubt about the authenticity of this too, Malister. Arthur was the 11th century figure that became legend. The once and future king was as real then as the air I'm breathing now. I don't know, Laura. Excalibur. The sword in the stone. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Pardon? Swords in stones, Alistair. They're part of the monomyth. There wasn't just one Excalibur or one Merlin. We keep seeing swords and deuses all over the world because they were everywhere. So you're saying that everywhere they went, they raised up kings, shaping the course of human destiny? Well, it's a possibility. Who? And what happened to them and their swords? Perhaps they're in Avalon. It's as good a place as any. Except our Merlin was killed and our Excalibur was left in pieces in the hands of the locals. So where's Avalon? I don't know. On the other side of the looking glass, perhaps? It says Bedivere returned a fragment of Excalibur to Arthur after the other pieces were carried off by the knights. your credit cards, did they? Is everything all right? Alistair? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, not my usual evening routine. Then let's go home. Brilliant. This is brilliant. King Arthur was real. The Knights of the Round Table were real. And now we have Excalibur right here in front of us. Those stodgy bastards at Oxford will have kittens when they hear of this. It's even bigger than that, Alistair. What Arthur called Excalibur is a powerful artifact that predates him by millennia. Well, it's still in pieces. Who brought the super glue? While I was in Ghana, I asked you to look around for the Galali key. No luck, I take it? It was not among your father's collection. Or his records. It wasn't in Ghana either. Or Rutland was... Hello? What's this? I've seen you before, haven't I? Hang on. striking resemblance, don't you think? The pendant was a gift from your father. I never knew from where he had obtained it, until now. 
Where is it now? It's in the Himalayas. My mother had it with her. Zip, Alistair, I'm going to Nepal. Please make the usual arrangements. We'll take care of it. Come on, man. Not to presume, Lady Croft, but I'd hoped you wouldn't try to use the sword yourself after what happened to your mother. She removed the sword. That's what killed her. I don't intend to do the same. If my father had known any of this, he tried so hard, and they hated him for it. No one hated him, Lara. It bloody well wasn't love, was it? His reputation was destroyed. Now there's more than one thing to be salvaged from that mountain top. The wreckage should be just on the other side. I can't see anything. You sure you're in the right spot? I never forget a face. Is that it? Yes. It is. That's where you're wrong, Zip. This has always been what it's about. Now there's one more place I'd like to visit. It shouldn't take too long. Every object here has a symbolic function. How'd you know that would be there? Give me a moment, please. for this, lads. No distractions, please. Good luck. Anyone between me and that stone dies. Stop. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it will if you come any closer. Kill her. I'm sorry, Amanda. Truly. What are you doing? Stay away from there! It's what I came for. You don't need that. We can both do this. It only works once, and I'm going to be the one!
these years I blamed myself. And it was you! You killed her! Killed her? She's not dead! She went where I was supposed to go, where you could have gone! Make sense right this second, or I swear I'll execute you where you stand! I told you to pull out the sword. I told you! Where is my mother? Avalon! It's not a myth. Don't you get it? You'll never understand. I'm wasting my breath. From this moment, your every breath is a gift from me. Laura? For years, my father believed Mother was alive. It was what kept him going. I pitied him for thinking that way. Alistair, go to the British Museum immediately. Bring me when you get there. Dress in layers. You'll be there a while. Right. I'm off. Zip, call Professor Eddington at the Cavendish Laboratory. Arrange a meeting. Will do. What should I tell him? Tell him... Tell him my father was right about everything. And there may still be time to do something about it.